We're recording. Hey. Hello, everybody. My name is Wes, Wes Bernard. I'm in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And uh, I'm at the main public library here in Spartanburg every Wednesday night from 6 to 8, leading a discussion about knowing thyself. The transatlantic slave trade was a horrific experience by our people, uh, but lately information is being shed on our true identity. Our identity has been hidden from us for a long time. Uh, this particular video is an introduction to uh, what I hope to be a series of uh, discussions about our true identity, which brings into question the identity of some other folks on the planet who pretend to be who we are. Israel. Who is Israel? Any of you who have studied the scriptures or researched or read the scriptures know that Israel was a group of people, a nation of people, who were in a covenant or contractual relationship with the Almighty God. And uh, that covenant or relationship was forever. Now, that word, Israel, is mentioned in the scriptures over 2,500 times. I bring this up because the scriptures, the Bible, contains the Hebrews or the Israelites' entire history. And there is no other people on the face of the earth that have such an extensive recorded history, not even the ancient Egyptians. So this really expands our understanding about our history as a people in this country because many of us are descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes, we are Israelites. We just didn't know it until now. For years, scholars and theologians and archeologists have debated this question. What did the ancient Israelites and Egyptians look like physically? Although the scriptures and other historical accounts have left a lot of evidence that actually confirms the physical appearance of the Israelites, much of this information has been suppressed, hidden, and is still unknown to the masses of people on the planet. Another question comes up when we start talking about um, African Hebrew Israelites is who are these white people then over there in the state of Israel who call themselves Jews? And the popular belief today among Christians, uh, scholars, and theologians is that the people in Israel today are the direct descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. These are the Eskenazi Jews that you see on TV, especially when it comes to news about uh, the state of Israel or some sort of Mideast crisis that involves Israel. The question is, can these Jews prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that they are the direct descendants of the ancient Israelites? And what I'd like to do is take a moment to show you some pictures of these Eskenazi Jews, these European Jews who purport to be descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You can see down here um, uh, Leonard Bernstein and of course there's uh, Albert Einstein and Frank. Uh, here's a, a photograph of uh, another lady you might re recall her. This is Golda Meir. She was uh, the early prime minister of the state of Israel, early in its existence. And David Ben-Gurion, who was the very first prime minister of the state of Israel. And uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, who is the current prime minister of the state of Israel. You'll notice all of these people look like white Western Europeans. They don't look African at all. 
Why do I bring that up? Well, because I want to prove to you, the listening audience, that these people could not be descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. One of the facts the scriptures give us about Israel is regarding their physical appearance. Throughout the scriptures, Israel is pictured as looking like the sons of Ham in physical appearance. Um, one of Noah's three sons was Ham. The other two sons were Shem and Japheth. Noah's descendants, when they came out of the ark, according to the Bible, were the three boys that, or sons, that repopulated the planet after the great flood. Here in Genesis uh, chapter 9, verse 18, it says this, The sons of Noah who went forth from the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan. Now Ham's descendants are traced to the families of Africa. Ham in Hebrew means hot or burnt or black. Uh, in Genesis 10 verse 6, it says that the sons of Ham were Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. So those four sons, Cush, that's the Ethiopians, the Nubians, the Cushites. And then the other son's name was, uh, uh, verse 10, yeah. Egypt or Mizraim, the Egyptians or uh, the Kemetans. And then he had another son named Put. Those were the ancient Libyans and Somalians. And then his fourth son was named Canaan. And Canaan, of course, was the Canaanites, the original inhabitants of the land of Israel.